One thing they won't have to pay for is great weather in New hey, Mexico, right? that, Yeah, that's a good point. We've had very nice weather here over the past couple of weeks. We do have a storm on the horizon. Mm. Way out there. A snowstorm? Yeah, believe me. Mm, we'll eh. see. I'm not, you know, again, I got the coat on. Do I look that excited? No. no. Come on, I'd be jumping off the walls if we had something good going here. Let's go ahead and show you what's going on. No, we do have one on the way. By the way, you never get sick of that creepy shot, do you? I mean, the great horned owl. And apparently, as I learned tonight, some of our emailers talked to me about why the eyes turn red. Apparently... I don't remember. It's the devil. <laughs> yeah, I, I certainly hope not. But some sort of reflection off the retina. Or, hmm. I, I, I had it figured out it's before we started this. anyway. It is very. Yeah, it, it, yeah, well, that's possible as well. It could be some distant relative of the legendary Chupacabra. We'll get into that another day. Picks at krqe.com. If you want to send those pictures in, we'd love to see them. Very cool shot there, though. And as you can see, temperatures not too bad. 30s across places like Durango, Cortez, and Taos at this hour. 56 Albuquerque, 48 Los Alamos, and down to the south. Temperatures for the most part in the 40s and 50s for us. Looking at what's happening here with the satellite and radar, relatively quiet. We do have some high cloudiness pushing through now. Not a real big deal. It'll filter some of that starlight tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. We will see plenty of sunshine once again, but early tomorrow morning, some low clouds, a little bit of fog across the northeast here. We have just enough moisture pushing in behind the cold front that once you go ahead and cool that air tonight, we will form some of that cloud cover, low-lying stuff around the northeast, but it will burn off as we head out through tomorrow morning and we then shift our focus here because we're going to end up with partly cloudy skies here through about Wednesday. And then the storm starts to drop down and approach New Mexico. Status of the storm right now, it is still forming over the Pacific. The timing that we're going to watch with this thing, Friday through Sunday, it looks like at this point. Now, what to expect? I think colder temperatures are a virtual certainty. That's not a big deal. Some spot valley showers and mountain snows will be a possibility. Right now, bus potential on this is pretty high at 60%. However, this could definitely change, and what needs to happen for this to be a big deal? Well, for right now, the storm track largely looks a little too far to the north to be a huge factor for us. So what are we going to need to make for a blockbuster storm, or at least something that brings us some rain and snow across a good portion of the state? We need more of a southerly track here, and tapping a little more in the way of Pacific, and maybe even some Gulf moisture out of this deal. But if it continues to go to the north, it won't really do that. If it drops farther down to the south into the state, and especially just to our west, then it could do a better job job at doing that. So that's what we're going to be watching for over the next couple of days. Right now, I think it's probably going to take the northerly track, but let's give this thing another day or so to figure out exactly what's going on. And of course, we'll give you full notice so you know how to prepare as we hit the end of the week. 60s across the northwest for tomorrow. Northeast, anywhere from the 50s all the way up into the 70s around Santa Rosa. Back toward the south and west, temperatures in the 60s and 70s, with plenty of sunshine. And over to the southeast, a little low-lying cloud cover possible early. Then nice clearing skies, 70 in Fort Sumner, 74 in Artesia, and 56 in Cloudcroft. East Mountains, temperatures start off in the 30s, only to warm up into the low 60s, mid-60s around Estancia and Moriarty. And here in the Albuquerque area, uh, plenty of sunshine here as well. Looks very good for us. 68 downtown, 67 in Placidas, and 64 up in Santa Fe. And it looks like we got that shot at at least a few snow showers Friday through Sunday of the coming weekend. And in the Albuquerque area, temperatures starting off the week, as you can see, in the high 60s. But then we end up in the low 50s by the time we hit Sunday. So fall's going to reappear here at least in three or four days. Uh, too bad. Yeah. Sports is next.